In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, today is the second Sunday, this celebration is the second Sunday of Easter. It's also called Divine Mercy Sunday, a great celebration in the church established by Pope Paul, John Paul II. Let us prepare ourselves for this celebration by first confessing our faults. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. pray God of everlasting mercy who in the very recurrence of the Easter feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own increase we pray the grace you have bestowed that all may understand and rightly grasp 
in what font they had been washed, by whose spirit they had been reborn, by whose blood they had been redeemed, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the Apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. Awe ah, came upon everyone, and many wonders, signs were done through the Apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to, and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exaltation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying labor with all the people. And every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to, the, to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that is perishable, even though tested by fire, may prove to be for glory, praise, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him, you rejoice with an un indescribable and glorious joy. As you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Because they were afraid of the Jews, Jesus came and he stood in their midst. He said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and he said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, he stood in their midst and he said to them, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands. Bring your hand and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You have come to believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so Jesus, instead of being angry, as he should have been, very angry, at these men called his disciples, they betrayed him, Judas did, they ran away from him when he was arrested, they left him alone, except for Peter, who was watching the whole thing going on while the group was taking him to, to court. He was afraid. This is what his disciples did to him. What if people do something like that to you? What if your friends don't show up when you need them at court? What if you have an occasion in which you're expected to be there and you don't go? Like a funeral or a wedding. How do you feel about those people? How do you feel about them? We complain. If we don't complain, we keep it in our minds and our hearts. Boy, he didn't come. Oh boy, she didn't come. And so forth and so on. They should have been there in court to help me. No one raised the voice for me. That's the way we are. And that's the way Jesus should have been. But he's different from us. He's very different from us. He didn't take it out on his disciples. He didn't get mad at them. He didn't say to them, I'm never going to talk to you again like we do. huh? I will never talk to you again. We do that. But Jesus never did it. How come? How come if he's a human being that didn't get mad? Because my brothers and sisters, he was doing the work of his father. He felt that he was doing the right thing because his father told him to do what he did. He accepted the punishment, he accepted the guilt, he accepted the execution in our place. He did it because he was obeying his father and he knew he was doing the right thing. When you know that you're doing the right thing, you have nothing to feel bad about, you have no one to get angry at, even if people don't respect you and don't help you, don't let it go, let it go. God is in charge. God sees everything and knows everything. For us who are followers of Christ, as hard as it is, we have to forgive. We have to forgive. How many people in your life, those who are watching on television, how many am I speaking to when I say, you still have enemies? Do you still have people you don't talk to? You still have people that you will never invite again to any occasion because you're mad at them, they're out of my life. Do you have a sister or brother that you're not talking to? Do you have a mother or father that you don't respect anymore? Well, if that's true, and you're a Christian, and I'm a Christian too, we should remember that Jesus is forgiving. He forgives sins. He forgives the hurts the hurts that he got in his life from his own disciples, his own friends, abandoned him. What an example we have in Jesus. He said to them, instead of cursing them, he said, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Shalom. Shalom. Peace. Don't be afraid. Don't hang on to what you did wrong. Don't dwell on it anymore. Change. I forgive you. Now move on and forgive other people too. That's a big, big thing to take. And it's a hard thing to swallow. And it's a hard thing to follow. But blessed are those who follow what the Lord says to do. Even though it's going against your own mind, it's going against your own heart, it's going against your own sort of personal philosophy. I don't forgive. I don't forget. A lot of people are like that. Let's not be like them. Let's forgive as hard as it may be. Let's try to forget, but that's the impossible thing. You cannot forget the heart, the hurt that someone did to you, especially the family. It's hard to forgive that person. But imitating Christ, if we want peace on earth, we have to learn to forgive. We've all been hurt. All of us have been hurt by somebody. Words, deeds, actions, yeah. 
Have I forgiven them? Good question. For some people, nah, I will never forgive them. Never. Jesus, you are so different. You are the Prince of Peace. You're the King of Love. You came to tell us your angels what to do on earth to make you alive on the earth by doing these things. We thank you, Lord, for the inspiration we see from the saints, from the Blessed Virgin Mary. How many people did she have to forgive that were murdered her son, who stabbed him in the side of the lance, who spit in his face, who slapped him in his face, called him names and ridiculed him and hit him on the head. Mary, you had to forgive a lot of people. You saw them going on. Wow, what an example of love. Today also is another manifestation of God's love, and that is his mercy. This is Divine Mercy Sunday. Because of all the terrible things that we've done on earth, we've done it. We've committed so many bad things in this church. They're still going on while I'm talking to you in this church this evening. It's going on right now all over the world. People still hate and discriminate one another because of color, because of name. You have a Spanish name. You have an Italian name. You have a Polish name. I don't like you because you're Italian, because you're Polish, because you're Spanish and all that that goes on right now. Jobs are not given to people like that, especially the black people. They're hurt very, very much. They're trying so hard, not all of them. There are criminals among them, there's a criminals among the whites. But they're trying hard to make a better life for their children. It's very, very hard for them. We ask God to forgive us the things we are doing on the earth how we're hurting one another, how we despise one another. We only help those we love. We only help those we love. Jesus, you said to love those who hurt you, to love those who give you a hard time. Dear Lord, what a heavy burden you're putting on our hearts. That's hard for us to do, Lord. But looking at you, you did it, didn't you? And if I'm your follower, your disciple, you have to do, I have to do it too. So on this Sunday of peace, peace and love and brotherhood and all the beautiful things that make us really happy on earth, we have to try to do it. And also ask God's mercy for the sins we have committed. After mass, we have the chapter of divine mercy, in which we ask God to forgive us and forgive the sins of the world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. We repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Have mercy on us, Lord, how we hurt one another, what we're doing to one another. Have mercy on us and help us to do what is right in your mind. Let us stand now, for those of you at home, and profess the faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so now we pray. With complete... This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad as we bring our prayers before our merciful and our loving God. For the church, that the body of the risen Christ here on earth, God's Holy Spirit, may guide us in the proclaiming the truth and the hope of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and justice in the world, may Easter grace be with all nations and peoples in turning away from division. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle each day to make ends meet, may God grant them the spirit of fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all here who have been reborn in the waters of baptism, or joined us at the table of the Lord this Easter season, May the risen Christ be their rock and their guide. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they share with the saints the eternal the reward of eternal joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially for Josephine Mastoni, Gina Vicento, Richard Poloni, Anna and Stephen Lynch, and the deceased members of the Padilla family, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved dead, especially those who have died due to the coronavirus, and for all those who have asked for our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we ask that you hear our prayers. We offer them knowing that you will take care of all of our needs through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
My brothers and sisters, pray now that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our God and all his holy church. Amen. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people and of those you have brought to new birth by baptism, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, but especially at this time of Easter, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover is risen from the dead. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he destroyed death, by rising he restored life. And now, overcome with Easter joy, with all the saints and all the angels, we praise you as we sing. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new, the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and of the blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit lord remember your church spread throughout the world bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope sean our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, of her spouse, Saint Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, the Holy Martyrs, all the saints, Saint Faustina, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, Deliver us, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace you grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer each other a sign of peace.
Thy brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul will be healed. <coughs>
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Easter sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A special blessing for Easter. May God who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift, gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs of eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us leave in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
We will be starting the Divine Mercy in a moment. Please stand by. Chapter of the Divine Mercy Novena, the Night Day. Today bring me souls who have become lukewarm and immerse them in the abyss of my mercy. These souls wound my heart most painfully. My soul suffered the most dreadful loathing in the garden of frogs because of lukewarm souls. They were the reason I cried out, Father, take this cup away from me, if it be your will. For them who run a hope of salvation is to run to my mercy. Most compassionate Jesus, you are compassion itself. I bring lukewarm souls into the abode of your compassionate heart. In this fire of your pure love, let these tempted souls, who, like corpses, filled you with such deep loathing, be once again set aflame. Most compassionate Jesus, exercise the omnipotence of your mercy, and draw them into the very ardor of your love, and bestow upon them the gift of holy love, for nothing is beyond your power. Eternal Father, turn your gaze upon lukewarm souls who are nonetheless enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. Father of mercy, I beg you by the bitter passion of your Son and by his three hour agony on the cross, let them too glorify the abyss of your mercy. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth from souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable, divine mercy, envelop the whole world, and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which got forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which got forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which got forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered in the conscious Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead.
Thank you for joining us and have a blessed night.